Hey, this is Andrew Brown from ExamPro, and we're taking a look at the Microsoft 365 subscription plans. Microsoft 365 has a lot of different subscription plans to target the right people or organization of any size. And within the subscription plans, there may be different tier levels, so it can be a lot to take in, but we'll provide a brief overview of them. So the following list describes the subscription plans offered. We have Microsoft 365 for home, and this consists of Microsoft 365 personal and Microsoft 365 family, personal is for a single person with multiple devices, and family is for up to six people. We have Microsoft 365 Education, and this is for educational institutions. It has two subscription plans for faculty and students that include different features, A1, A3, and A5. Microsoft 365 Government is for government institutions, and it has two subscription plans that include different features, G1, G3, and G5. Microsoft 365 Business is for small to medium-sized organizations that have up to 300 employees. It has four subscription tiers that include different features, apps for business, business basic, business standard, and business premium. Microsoft 365 for frontline workers is designed to empower frontline workers and optimize frontline impact. It has three subscription tiers that include different features, F1, F3, and F5. And we have Microsoft 365 Enterprise. So this is for enterprise-sized organizations and has four subscription tiers that include different features, apps for enterprise, E3, E5, and F3. Your organization can also choose from three Office 365 subscription tiers, E1, E3, and E5. So those are the Microsoft 365 subscription plans currently available, and we'll go over some of the important ones in greater detail in the next sections.